Parish President Remarks and Report. Mr. Jewell. <coughs> Thank you. I'm going to give Alyssa a second to get it up. Oh, she's got it up. All right. I have a pretty short report. As you can hear, my voice isn't the greatest, um, so I'm going to try to be brief. Um, we're going to have some work going on at the intersection of Willowdale Boulevard and Highway 90. Since we're anticipating a, a lot more additional traffic on Willowdale uh, with the upcoming Lakewood Drive reconstruction, we're doing everything we can to allow traffic to flow as freely through this intersection as possible. So what we're going to be doing um, is widening that intersection and allowing for a um, full right turn lane uh, as well as the, the lane that goes straight. So that will allow for some cars to stack up in there and um, keep stuff moving a lot a lot quicker through there. Our folks have already gone out there and driven some sheet piles on the side of the box culverts there, uh, and work should commence um, within the next few weeks uh, out there. We'll be working with Barrier Construction, um, and we will do some notifications to try to get our residents to avoid that intersection. should only take a day or two to, to get it done. Um, they're also going to be doing core samples. If you've driven around your districts, you've probably seen – uh, some spray paint on the streets in various locations. And uh, we'll have a, a company out there taking core samples uh, so, so we know when we go to reconstruct our roads what exactly we have underneath that asphalt. Um, that was from a, um, a contract that the council approved, I believe, last year, into last year. Um, let's see. Wastewater updates. Uh, so contra a contractor in Old Luling, uh, specifically BLD, is doing the old Luling phase two wastewater uh, work and they are performing cured in place pipelining. Uh, this is a method that we are using to, um, to cause or to, um, to have as minimal of a disruption to our residents as possible. What happens is they, um, they slip basically a soft, um, uh, kind of like a fiberglass pipe through the, um, through the existing pipe. It's impregnated with, uh, with resin and it, they pump steam in it to cure it in place and that new pipe cures inside of that old pipe and um, we were just talking about behind the behind the scenes here that uh, it's got a, at the very least a 50 year life to it so it's a very good um, very good system for us and again minimal disruption to the resident as it only takes about a couple hours to cure uh, so they'll be doing that to um, to uh, to take care of all the I and I that they've located uh, as a as a result of the phase one sewer study in that area. Over to Waterworks, um, as, you, uh, as you are aware, uh, we've been replacing smart meters. Um, the big push is going to be happening right now. Um, the parish since 2009 has replaced 13,651 meters with digital meters. Um, 6,000 meters are going to be replaced in the Destrehan, Ormond, New Sarpy portions. Uh, in, I'm sorry, in, in New Sarpy, portions of Ama and Booty, Parody, Desalmonds, Bayagosh, and Magnolia Ridge as well. Um, the approximately 3,000 remaining meters are going to be slated to be replaced in 2024. And with, the, with this, we're also, be, we're also going to be working on a new billing uh, um, system, which is underway this year, that is going to, um, is really going to automate a lot of the processes that we're doing manually right now. As you know, the billing office is open one day a week right now. That's because the billing takes so much time for us to do manually while we have some other people training to work that front desk, to work the phones. So that's going to be temporary, but um, we thought it was very important to make, to make it, we thought it was very important to make sure that our bills go out correctly because that would be an even bigger headache if they did not. Um, so again, on the screen, you can just see, a, I'm sorry, that's small. That's a, that's a picture of what the new meter would look like. And then to the right, that's what the receiver system looks like. So it's going to be sending that, that monthly reading to that system. We'll be able to get a much better accurate reading and hopefully get on a much more normal billing cycle uh, where you don't have 25 days and 35 days and 30 days. Our goal is to get everything much more consistent and to get a lot of our processes automated. Um, and don't worry, there's going to be still plenty of things for our employees to do. <clears throat> so that's in the works. Over to Parks and Recreation. Uh, Y'all just heard the report, uh, but you can see Desalmonds uh, Park. This is uh, American Legion Park on WPA Road. Uh, we've been tearing down a lot of the old uh, fencing, old trees, uh, repairing backstops, fixing drainage, bringing in fill to uh, take care of low spots. Um, and then we're working towards 
uh, new pavilion and new basketball courts uh, at that at that um, location, as well as uh, new backstops and batting cages. Um, and th those backstops and batting cages should be done in the next couple weeks. <coughs> as you can see, there's the batting cages. Okay, sorry, this is um, that's IMTT. Let's go back to IMTT. Continued progress at IMTT Park. I know Darren, uh, Dwayne talked about it. Pavilions, sidewalks, bollards for the parking lot, batting cages, um, and then uh, restroom upgrades as well as demolition of the Ida damage. Next. Swamp School registration. First two sessions are full. Session three registration opens this Saturday at midnight. Session four registration opens next Saturday, March 25th at midnight. You can register at scpparksandrec.com for more information. All right, for Trash Bash, we are partnering, partnering with Keep Louisiana Beautiful for our 15th annual Trash Bash. We want everybody to get a group, come clean up St. Charles Parish. This is going to be Earth Day, and again, it's going to be Keep Louisiana Beautiful um, Day as well. April 20, um, and that's going to be Saturday, April 22nd. The celebration takes place at 11.30 a.m. at the Edward A. Dufresne Community Center. You can register at SCP, SCP, I'm sorry, St. Charles Parish .gov trash bash. Same day, we're also going to have ha household hazardous waste collection. Um, if you're like me, you've probably gotten a lot of questions about this. It's been since 2019 that this has taken place because of COVID. Um, so we know there are going to be a lot of uh, hazardous waste that is going to be brought to this um, event. Items that will be accepted. Paint, electronics, aerosol cans, oil, pesticides, herbicides, light bulbs, batteries. Uh, that's car batteries, alkaline, NCAD, no lithium batteries. Household chemicals, bleach, soap, cleaners, detergent. And that's it. I need to check on tires. I know that's a big question as well. So we'll check on tires. That's it for my report. All right.